Hello everybody, Melda here. Today I'm back with another video, not a Redshift video this time. I'm gonna show you how to uh, create something similar to this uh, animation you see on the screen here. Uh, so uh, I did like this um, Facebook uh, poll or what you can call it. And there was a lot of like people wanting to see some typography animation in the After Effects. So I created this and hopefully this will make somebody happy and be valuable because the technique is quite easy but uh, I think it could be quite powerful and can be used in like a, a lot of different scenarios alright so let's get into it so first what I want to do is just create a new composition here we're just gonna call this fractal I'm not gonna be all fancy with the names I don't think but for now let's just call this fractal so let's create a uh, control Y let's con uh, create a new solid here and then I use the video copilot's uh, FX console. Hopefully everybody does because it's amazing. And then fractal noise here. I want to set this to. We can choose different ones, but I like the the max or the swirly. So I'm just gonna go with the max here. And then let's let's turn up the contrast a bit here and the brightness a bit. So this is like the settings you just need to play around with uh, a, a little bit to have something you like. This probably needs to go down to like 1, maybe like 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 yeah, something like this. Alright, in the transform here, we can change the scale. Probably to like 140 or something. Like this. Alright, so, so what we need to do is to animate this. So go into our offset here. Offset turbulence. And press time. Times. Then we need these, what are they called, brackets or something like that. Let's just write like 70 and then comma and then like minus 100 and then the end bracket, whatever we want to call it. This should work. Yes, now we have something. So in the evolution, we just need to type times and then or time times like 65 maybe. Yes, now we have something. All right, so let's create a new composition here. Let's just call this text. And let's write MDC again. Let's just do that for the motion design community here. Align and align. Just want to make sure it's in the center here. So let's scale it up a bit. And what we can do is just maybe do a new composition with the fractal and then take our text inside here and make sure to have it on the bottom and then luma um, luma mat yes like this so now we have this let's blur the text a bit so just a fast blur maybe set it to like 20 alright something like this and then we need to take this into another one so I'm just gonna drag this into a new composition here again okay so after we've added this into a new composition here we can add a roughen edges so like this and then turn the scale up a bit so now you see we have these like swir swirly like uh, organic smooth lines here which is super cool so let's just play around here a bit with the settings I like having those lines a bit longer so the fractal influence Turn that a bit down, but this is like just play around with it until you have something you like. Um, I think I'm gonna add some more detail in here or in the fractal, the first one actually. So let's add a adjustment layer, control alt y, and let's search for bubbles cc bubbles, which basically just creates bubbles as you can see here. So let's add a few, let's say face outwards. And in here, the blending modes, let's do this. So now we have these black ones here. And then we can add an echo. So I hate this. This is so like obnoxious. So let's maybe just turn this up to seven or eight. Yeah, something like this is probably fine. Yeah, like this. Maybe add a simple choker. So smooth it out a bit. 
All right, let's go into a fractal free here again. Now we're gonna hopefully see some of these, yeah, some of these lines here. So let's add it into yet another one. Fractal free, another new composition. And now what we can do is take a stroke here and let's just paint around with the, the line or a mask, I guess it is. Let's do this with the D. Nope, not that D. All right. <laughs> so like this, and then at the end here, let's do it with the C. Let's just finish that line out. Something like this. Then we can add a stroke and choose all our masks and take this off. Let's fire this down to zero and maybe do it all the way up here and then just put a keyframe down just for now. And we would need this to reveal original image. So what's that gonna do is it's gonna use our masks here to yeah basically reveal our original image. So we need the stroke line to get up until we have filled out all the all our, our letters here. So as you can see maybe adjust these we want this to be sm as small as possible the the brush size here all right but something like this is probably fine so then we can take this forward a bit and take the end all the way down and now as you can see we have something animating so what i then did was just add a fill here to a nice color Maybe like a a red, reddish orange. That's probably a word, right? Let's add another one and yet another one. So let's take it from the button here and offset them a bit like this. And then let's change these colors a bit. So let's make this a bit lighter and this down here even more. And maybe a, a bit more yellow. So like this, yeah. And now it's this is basically what what I had in my in my showcase, I guess you could call it in my example. So let's just add a background here. All right. Well, I hope some of, some of these uh, things here was uh, helpful um, because I think this technique is super useful for other things other than just like top topography. I could imagine using some of this, like, as you see, this smooth animation here, as for like a, what is it called, like a lava li lamp, like those organic lamps you can get. But yeah, I hope you can use this and um, get out and be creative with, with some of the t these techniques here. Don't just copy them and do the exact same thing. I think there's a lot to learn in, like, seeing a tutorial where something is doing like a very linear job like i just did here where i type in the exact same numbers and then just try to play around in the in the different settings see what it does i, I learned a ton just doing that because you figure out oh shit you could also do that try to add like a new effect and and suddenly you have some some new things and maybe try adding more fractal noise uh, somewhere or add a, a rough and edges a place where i didn't and yeah so thanks for watching. I hope uh, I hope you like it. Goodbye.